There was times I didn't eat lunch just so I could take a cat to the vet. I really do believe it's why I was put on this earth to help these cats. My name is Tara Kaczynski. I'm the founder of the Odd Cat Sanctuary. I started it back in September of 2015. I just wanted a place for special needs cats, cats that no one was interested in, to have a place to go. I was just thinking about there's really no other shelters that accept cats that have missing legs, that are like diseased, abused, um, handicapped. Um, so I really was thinking, I, I want to do something about that. I wanted to start something for a safe place for them to go, maybe a place to highlight them that shows how special they are. It was really hard work getting it started. It took a long time. It was years to get it running. Um, now we're a 501c3 mass approved charity. It was a much smaller operation back then. We had, I wanna say two or three cats. I would adopt one out um, in the adoption fee. I would turn around and use that and save another senior cat that needed a dental. It was a lot of hard work, but so worth it. In the last five years, we've saved around 3,000 cats. Right now, we have about 42 fosters all over Massachusetts. We're, they're amazing fosters. They're the backbone of our rescue. We couldn't do what we do without them, for sure. Memphis has two noses. He's pretty unique. There's really no one else out there like him. He's such a special, special boy. Um, he came to us when he was about a year old. Um, his owner loved him very much, but could no longer handle him. He wasn't neutered, and she was experiencing issues from that. Um, area shelters told her they would euthanize because he was so different, they were afraid to take him on. So she was kind of had nowhere to go. He had the option of being euthanized, not that she wanted that, or she heard of us. One of my volunteers was talking to her and asked if we'd take him on and we said yes. He became an odd cat and now he's the sweetest boy. He loves to cuddle, loves belly rubs. He's the chattiest cat you'll ever meet. <laughs> I would say the main goal is to highlight cats that are special, um, handicapped, that people would overlook or um, not even pay attention to and not even give a chance to. Um, to really highlight them, to show how wonderful they can be and how special they are and how they're so deserving of a home, just like any other regular cat out there. It's so important to highlight the people from Odd Cat people that are behind the scenes that do much work every day on top of their day jobs just to ensure our cats get taken care of, um, promoted out on, on social media. They do all the, the behind the scenes work with me. And I feel like they don't get enough credit. And also all the transporters, the fosters, the people at our PetSmart Adoption Center, they all do so much um, that they don't, no one ever knows about them, but they're all behind the scenes really important the adopt don't shop because you have so many cats sitting all the cats we've saved are from shelters that if people didn't adopt they would have died um, so I think it's so important to get that message to give them a chance a lot of them are purebreds that people want they think they can't get at a shelter that are sitting in cages and that are going to be euthanized so if people just take a look more than likely they're going to see what they want already there that they could rescue versus buy love to maybe see if we could somehow branch out a little, work with other rescues. I'd love to do programs where we focus more on the TNR aspect as well, because I think that's so important in education in um, your area, because it really comes down to education. Um, people need to understand to spay and neuter their pets and not let them outside unfixed, because that really does help the problem that we're trying so hard to fix. One of the happiest, best moments was when you guys did the first video of the Odd Cat. I literally cried. It was the nicest video. You guys really depicted all our cats. You did it in such a nice way. It was so nice to see them all combined in what we do and highlight it. I always say the biggest way someone can help is like our Instagram and Facebook page and share a cat in need. It takes two seconds. It costs nothing. And if you share one of our pets, someone one of your friends may see and want to adopt them like that's the biggest thing it just shares about us shares our cat it's free and quick that's the biggest thing i would say